Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add a custom sticky navbar to your blogger website. So this is the navbar that we're going to add. And I showed you how to design this from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript in my previous video. When you scroll down, we have a different appearance for this uh, navigation menu. And when we scroll back up, we have the default view. So this is what we're going to add in our blogger website. And I will also leave the link of the video where I showed you how to design this from scratch. So let's get started. So let's go to the dashboard of our blogger website and I'm using this theme called Contempo which comes by default with blogger. So let's go ahead and click on this arrow and click on edit HTML. And here we're going to add the HTML, CSS and JavaScript for this navbar. So let's scroll all the way to the bottom. And we will add our HTML right before the body ends. So let's make some space over here and uh, let's go to our source code. And this is the source code of our navbar. I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So here we can see we have this header and this is our navbar. And after the header we have other elements as well. So here we can see in our website we have added these elements as well. But we don't need to copy those in our blogger website. We just need to copy the navbar. So let's just copy the header from here. So I'll just copy this. And uh, let's paste it in our blogger theme code. So here I'll just paste the header. Now it doesn't matter where you paste this header because uh, we're going to give it a fixed position. So even if you paste it over here at the bottom or at the top, it will always be positioned at the top. Because uh, in our CSS, here we can see for uh, the header, we have set the position to fixed and the top position to zero. So that's why it will always be at the top. Alright, so let's go ahead and add the CSS. So we have added the HTML over here. Now let's go to the CSS. So let's scroll up. And here we can see all the CSS of our theme. So let's go over here and after the end of the CSS of the theme, let's add some space. And here I'll just add a comment. I'll just type sticky navbar. And let's copy all the CSS from here. So we don't need to copy all the CSS above this because these are for all the other elements. We need to copy all the CSS uh, from this line over here. So I'll just copy this from here to the end. And uh, let's paste it over here. Alright, so that's it with the CSS. Now the last thing we need to do is add the JavaScript because when we scroll down, we want to have this uh, appearance for the navbar. And we're going to add and remove a class in CSS using JavaScript. So let's go back over here to our source code and uh, let's go to main.js. And uh, let's copy this JavaScript from here. And uh, let's go over here to our theme code. Let's go to the end. And here I'll just create a script tag. And inside the script tag, I'll just paste the JavaScript code. All right, now let's go ahead and click on save. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And we cannot see the navbar displayed over here. So let's scroll down. And here we can see that the navbar is uh, there. But it's not being displayed. So the problem is that it doesn't have a higher Z index than all the other elements. So let's right click over here and click on inspect. And let's select the navbar. So let's scroll down. And uh, here we can see this is the sticky navbar. So here in the element style, I'll just add a Z index. And we'll just set a Z index of a high value. So let's set 1000. And now we can see that it works all right. Let's scroll up. And we have the default styling. And let's scroll down and we have a different styling. So we have to add the Z index to the navbar. Now in our original design, we had this white background color over here. So that's why it looked nice. But in our blogger website, we don't have a light background color. So for the default appearance, we will add a white background color to the navbar. And the next thing we need to do is we need to move all the other elements down a little bit. So let's right click over here and inspect. And let's select the body. So this will select all the other elements. And we need to move this down a little bit. So first of all, let's go ahead and add a background color to the nav bar. So here we can see this is the nav bar. So I'll just add a background color of white. Now let's select the body. And we will add a margin top. So I'll just type margin top. And let's set some value over here. So let's type 40 pixels. And I think we can move it down a little bit more. So I think 60 pixels looks all right. Now we have two issues in our website. When we scroll down, we don't have the dark color for the navbar. And when we scroll up, we can see that there is this header by the theme. So if we right click over here and inspect, 
and uh, here we can see we have this header with the class of centered top container and it is being displayed when you scroll up so this is by the theme now every theme has different design but for this theme we have this header being displayed when you scroll up so here we can see we have this selector center top container dot sticky and let's set display of none and now we can see that the header by the theme is not being displayed so let's add these tiles to our uh, theme code so let's copy this and let's go back to our theme code let's go to the css and here i'll just add this selector and i'll just type display of none and we had also set the margin top of the body to 60 pixels so let's type body and here we'll just type margin top 60 pixels and uh, we also need to set a z index for the header so here we'll just type z index of 1000 and we also need to set a background color now here we have set an rgba value so let's copy this and let's paste it over here and instead of 000 we we'll just type 255 255 and 255 so this is the value for white and for the opacity we'll just type 1 and now let's save it and see whether it works so let's go back to our website and refresh and here we can see that everything is being displayed correctly we don't have any problems so when you scroll down we have a different appearance and when you scroll all the way to the top we have the different appearance let's go into a post and everything works all right we don't have any problems so that's how you can add a custom sticky navbar to your blogger website now you can go ahead and add the links of your page over here so if you have an about page you can go ahead and add the link of the about page over here and the same goes with all the other links so for that you can go over here to the template code and scroll all the way to the bottom and uh, here we can see we have added the html so here instead of the hash you can go ahead and paste the link of your pages so that's it for this video i will leave the link of the source code and also the design video in the description so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Thank you.